Macron holds frank exchange talks with Putin President Emmanuel Macron has warned that France would respond immediately to any use of chemical weapons in Syria. It was part of what he called a frank exchange with President Vladimir Putin when he welcomed him to Versailles. Despite being on different sides in the war, Macron also accepted representatives of the Syrian leader should be at future talks. It is essential to discuss with all parties present, in fact with all stakeholders in the Syrian conflict including the representatives of MR, Bashir al-Assad. After their talks in Versailles, French President Macron hit out at Russian media, Putin denied hacking HTTPS. T. Kawaii 2 jdzmd via Reuters pick twitter.com slash 24 hours 7 poly 15 h. Michelle Rose, Michelle Reuters, May 29, 2017 The Putin visit is being seen as an opportunity to reset recently frosty relations over alleged political meddling by Moscow in the French elections, but following talks of feeling feeling at the press conference came to the surface over issues such as Ukraine. You have asked how sanctions against Russia will help in the resolution of the crisis in Ukraine's southeast. They will not, so I appeal to you as well as to the representatives of French media. You should fight for the lifting of all restrictions in the global economy, said President Putin. Versailles was chosen for the meeting because an exhibition dedicated to Tsar Peter the Great is opening there. The two leaders later visited some of its exhibits. Afterwards Macon said the talks had been Cordial but not innocent, French leader blasts Russia in Putin visit Associated Press Versailles, France. Flexing his diplomatic muscles, French President Emmanuel Macron said he had extremely frank and direct talks with Russian President Vladimir Putin on Monday and launched an extraordinary attack on two state-funded Russian media outlets he accused of spreading line propaganda during France's presidential campaign. Macron's full and blast at the state news agency Sputnik and broadcaster Russia Today came at a news conference with Putin standing at his side. His comments underscored the clear differences between the two on multiple issues and fulfilled the French president's campaign promises to pull no punches with Russia when needed. But after more than two hours of meetings, their first since Macron's May 7 election and longer than scheduled, both leaders also signaled a shared desire not to let disagreements define their fledgling relationship. The fight against terrorism, in particular, appeared to offer common ground. Putin said Macron proposed a framework for French and Russian anti-terror experts to meet and work together. And both leaders agreed they don't want Syria, where Russia is propping up the government of President Bashar Assad, to collapse into a failed state. Progress in Syria will happen by a joint effort, which today will lay the foundations for, Macron said. Speaking through a translator, Putin said the two countries were totally capable of trying to progress together on world affairs. What unites us allows us to hope that the possibility exists to improve our ties, he added later. But there was no discussing the rifts. Macron said he spoke to Putin about LGBT rights in the Russian Republic of Chechnya and about the rights of embattled non-governmental organizations in Russia, vowing to be vigilant on these issues. Earlier Monday, human rights activists protesting near the Eiffel Tower displayed a banner that said, Stop homophobia in Chechnya. Any use of chemical weapons in Syria is a red line for France and will be met by reprisals and an immediate riposte from the government, Macron said, France flies warplanes over Syria and Iraq, striking Islamic State targets as part of an international coalition. On Sputnik and Russia today, Macron showed little restraint, saying the two organizations spread untruths about me and my campaign during the French election. Referring to a document leak hit Macron's campaign in the final hours of the French race. I will not give an inch on this. He said, Russia Today and Sputnik behaved as organs of influence, of propaganda, of lying propaganda. Putin, seemingly unfazed, pushed back any suggestion that Russia sought to influence the election. In March, Putin hosted Macron's far-right rival, Marine Le Pen, at the Kremlin. On Monday, 
He defended that gesture as simple good manners, saying it would have been strange to rebuff Le Pen's Russia friendly overtures. That doesn't mean that we try to influence the results of the election. Besides, that is almost impossible. He said.